Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. It's Greg from the Kindergarten Smorgasbord. Today is a very big day for me. Today is the one year anniversary of my very first blog post on this crazy blog that you all keep reading every day. Wow. 365 days. 322 blog posts, um, give or take a few. Um, over 500,000 page views, um, several thousand comments, and lots of craziness and chaos, and of course, lots of glitter. Um, a big thank you for everybody who reads and follows the blog and leaves comments. Um, it means a lot. Um, as, a, as a male in kindergarten, I sometimes tell people I'm a rock star because everywhere I go, it's me and a bunch of female kindergarten teachers. Um, so it's always nice to be accepted and welcomed into this wonderful community of bloggers and teachers and especially kindergarten teachers because um, kindergarten teachers, we rock. So I wanted to celebrate my big anniversary um, with a, another video. You guys seem to really like my video the last time with the noodles, so I thought I would do another one. So today I'm going to show you this really cool math manipulative math tool that I've learned at a workshop and it's just it's a simple counting rope but it's built so that it works very well for adding um, for decomposing numbers and for counting um, this is one that I made as an example um, what I like about them is that you can slide the beads to one end and they stay and then you can slide some more so it looks like this. So on this one it would be five pink and two green, so five and two make seven, or seven is made up of five and two. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. Um, I think it's a great summer project because you could make these class sets of these for all sorts of numbers. Um, you could do, you know, five through 10 and you would have class sets for when you decompose numbers. Um, you know, a class set of 10 for adding to 10. Um, lots of great uses for these. Um, so all you need is elastic. Um, I also bought some of this fun glittery, of course glitter, tie-dye um, plastic string stuff. And it works okay, but not as good as the elastic. So all you do is take some elastic and cut a pretty good length, um, you know, 36 inches or so, but you know, you want a nice length. So you take your elastic cord, you fold it in half, so it looks like that. Then what you do is you take your beads, and the beads are just the, I, I've called them pony beads, um, but they're just craft beads. Of course, mine are bright and shiny and sparkly, but you can get them in any kind of colors. You can actually even get them um, and big containers that are already separated by colors, which would make this project a whole lot easier. So what I did was I counted out my my beads. I have five pink and five blue. So I took my cord, folded it in half. What you do is you take one bead. So here's my little bead. You put one end through one hole. So I turned it so I have a bottom and a top. So one side of your cord goes through the bottom. The other side of your cord goes through the top. So they're going opposite ways. So it ends up looking something like this. So then what I do is I fold it up and grab a hold of it so it looks like this. And then I pull. And then you end up with that. So I'll do another one. So you take a bead, one end of your cord goes through the bottom, one end of your cord goes through the top. You hold the ends and you pull. So as you can see on this one, I have two blue and two pink. So really, if I wanted to start with maybe decomposing numbers, I could start with the number four. 
and you can keep going. So just remember they go in opposite holes. So one on top, one on the bottom, and then pull. One on the top. One on the bottom. Hold the ends and pull. One on the top. One on the bottom. Hold the ends and pull. One on the top. One in the bottom. Just remember that when you're putting the strings in, whether it's top or bottom or whether you do it sideways, they go in opposite holes. So this one goes in the bottom, this one goes in the top. And then you pull. And so you're going to end up with something like this. Now I didn't put them all blue and all pink, but this is what it looks like. When you're done, You tie, take your string, so it's going to look like this, and then you tie it at the ends. And you want to leave space at the end so you have room to move your beads. So you tie it off, and you can trim the ends, and you have a counting rope. So the beads slide very easily and they stay. So, one, two, three, four, five, and four make nine. Or you could have your kids show you, let's say we're working with the number nine. You could say, show me one way to make nine. So they could just, and the cool thing is that these will move more than one at a time. So let's say, and all of your kids can move their beads, and one way to make nine is three and six. And you could record that on their paper or on a class chart. So there you go. Simple counting rope that I plan to make a bunch of this summer to use with my class next year when we work on adding and decomposing numbers. So I hope you enjoyed this little kindergarten smorgasbord video tutorial. Um, as always, questions, comments, snide remarks, I love them all. And once again, thank you for reading and putting up with my insanity for a year, and I look forward to another year of insanity and fun and making messes and lots and lots of glitter. Thank you guys. Have a good one.